Hi everyone, welcome to the show. This is Usual Mike Television with your Sunday Sports Vlog. Today I'll start talking with A-League first. Now, A-League started on the Friday night in a match between Adelaide and Melbourne City. With it going to Melbourne City in Adelaide, they won 1-0. The Saturday match was, a, there was a day match between Sydney and Wellington. Now, I'll tell you this, at the end of the match, it was 3-1 to Wellington, and they'd never win in Sydney. And Sydney's crowd booed their own side. They were very despondent with how they re replied in the game. It was... They got a consolation goal to get the one, but terrible game from terrible. There's problems there. After that was uh, Brisbane versus Melbourne victory at Suncorp Stadium, and wow, 5-0, 5-0, huh, unbelievable. Whew, they played really well. Good on you, Raw. Uh, fortunate, uh, poor old victory. Don't know what was going on there. The last match on the Saturday night was live from Perth, and it finished really late. That was between Central Coast Mariners and Perth Glory. Final score was 4-0 to the home team. They played exceptionally well. The Sunday game was Newcastle versus uh, Western Sydney, and it went close one to Western Sydney, 1-0. Moving on to NRL, we had uh, the game start off on Thursday night football, as we've been accustomed to this year. It was between Penrith Panthers and the Canterbury Bulldogs. And... Let me just say, Penrith are fantastic at getting off early. They can great start to every game, scoring tries, looking razzle-dazzle, but they run out of puff. And in this case, they did, with only playing, what was it, 79 minutes of football? Oh, and let Canterbury score in the very last minute of the game to lose it. That was, Canterbury couldn't believe them and pinched themselves at the end of it. How did they lose Penrith? No idea, but maybe they'll do it again next week. <laughs> The Friday night game was between the Broncos and the Warriors, and the Broncos pretty much dominated this game defensively. They didn't rack up a whole heap of tries, but it ended up 25 to 10. And the funny thing is, the pick the score margins, you know, there's that one point difference from the guy kicking the field goals every I think it was the same guy who kicked the field goal the week before. Kicking a field goal puts the margins slightly out, pick the scores are slightly out. Always interesting when they play like that. You know, who's betting on these games to have these obscure scores? Interesting, it's not me. <laughs> the Saturday games were between Canterbury. Oh, look, it's Canterbury. They've already had their game. Canberra, sorry. Canberra and the Roosters. And let me just say, Canberra, they got out of jail. I can't believe they won. No one can believe they won. It was, it was a shock. How did they beat the Roosters? Unbelievable. The Roosters beat them every time they play them. Every single damn time. I can't remember last time the Roosters lost against Canberra Raiders, but well done, Canberra Raiders. You win by a point, 21-20. The game after that was South Sydney versus Newcastle. And let me just say, this was a drubbing. This was towards the end of the match, the commentators are going on about, oh, can they put up, rack up 50 points? Can they rack up 50 points? Well, they came close, but Newcastle came back and scored a try at the end, so it ended up 48-6. to Unbelievable game. South Sydney have got everything going for them. They do. Newcastle, hapless, hopeless. Everything you can name. They should come good towards the end of the day. They should win a game this year. They didn't look like they could win, but they, they may win a game. Um, the, the nighttime Saturday game was Parramatta versus the Cowboys. The Premiers playing Parramatta. They did win the Nines Parramatta. We thought, there's something going on here. Well... <laughs> They rolled the Premiers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Up there, uh, they were in Townsville, I believe. Yeah, the full-time full score was 20-16. to 16. Parramatta. Well done. The Sunday games were Cronulla playing St. George Illawarra, and that wasn't even close. Cronulla dominated. Dominated. It was 30-2 to 2 the final score, but the, the, the crazy thing was, I think at one stage there, it was 2 all, <laughs> and they just racked up the points. It was a great game. Great game. I watched it. The Sunday afternoon game. The game after that, the 6.30 game, which is a night game down there in Melbourne, it ended up oh, playing, oh yeah, Melbourne was playing the Gold Coast. And at one stage, the Gold Coast was leading that game. And it was like, how can the Gold Coast do this? But no, no Melbourne come up 34-16, the final score. Unbelievable. I thought, oh, Melbourne might lose, but no, they pulled their finger out and eventually won the damn game. 
The next game will be the Monday night game, which hasn't been played because this is the Sunday sport vlog, and it's between the West Tigers and Manly. And last week I picked the Monday game. I said Melbourne should win, and they did. And this is the Monday pick I'll have. Mm, Tigers. Go Tigers. Tigers by eight. That's my pick. Tigers by eight over Manly. Excellent. Anyway, the only other sport I'm going to talk to you about was um, a guy called Matthew Griffin. He won the New Zealand, well, yes, the New Zealand Open, uh, the hander or one of the sponsor. I don't care about the sponsor. This is the New Zealand Open. He won. I've got to say this for New Zealand. They have some beautiful golf courses. They don't have the greatest golfers in the world, but their courses are immaculately beautiful. Just great courses. They, they, there's parts of the ones down the South Island that kind of remind me of, you know, European courses around Switzerland and Austria. There's just that immaculate mountain ranges and just fabulous. Well done, Matty Griffin. He's an Aussie. He won. I do like to mention my golf now and then. But anyway, that's it for the Sunday Sport Vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I said to someone one day, the other day, they said, what do you do for a living? I said, I host a sports show on the internet. They're like, oh, I mean, no, this is for my viewers. I don't care about them. This is for you. You're watching this. This is for you. I do it for you. You're my fans. That's why I do it really late on a Sunday night too. You know, why did I schedule myself for a Sunday night? Because that's when the football's on. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked what you've seen, drop me a like, leave me a comment about what sport you'd like me to cover. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been Usual Mike Television, and thank you all for watching. All the best.